Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. The last time we have evening prayer in the hall, um, I say last time, of course in 10 years time it will be the golden jubilee of the church. So uh, time perhaps uh, for, for more uh, celebrations then. But meanwhile, we come together this night to bring before the Lord our prayer. You'll have noticed I bowed um, at the tabernacle. It is, in fact, empty. Um, just to reassure that I wasn't ignoring our Lord, that uh, he's returned to the church. Some of you may have joined in this morning uh, for uh, the Requiem Mass uh, for Terry White. It was a moving occasion. Um, the, the eulogy which his son had written, a uh, beautiful um, in a sense, passion in itself about the difficulties that Terry had faced in his life and the way in which his faith and his prayer had overcome them. And he uh, had lived that life close to the Lord. He lived that life close to the church. So we come this evening. We pray that we may be inspired by his example of confidence in the Lord as we bring him our prayers and our needs. A confidence, of course, that Mary showed that allowed her to give her yes to God. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking, be always near. Dark descends, but light unending shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing. May we see in love's possessing, love's endless light. Lord, keep my soul from death and my feet from stumbling. I love the Lord for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. 
How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, keep my soul from death, my feet from stumbling. My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble, let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and your shade, at your right hand he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of all the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. And the first letter to the Corinthians. The hidden wisdom of God, which we teach in our mysteries, is the wisdom that God predestined to be for our glory before the ages began. It is a wisdom that none of the masters of this age have ever known, or they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. We teach what scripture calls the things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. These are the very things that God has revealed to us through the Spirit. Christ died for our sins that he might offer us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember your mercy, O Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham, and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Remember your mercy, O Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. Christ comforted the widow who had lost her only son. Let us pray to him who will come at the last to wipe away every tear from our eyes. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you consoled, especially the poor and troubled. Look with mercy on those in any kind of need. The angel brought you the Father's comfort on the eve of your passion. We pray that your comfort may strengthen those who are dying. Let all exiles know your care for them. May they find their homeland once more and come one day in joy to the Father's house. Look in love on all whose sins have separated them from you. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. The dead suffered the pain and loss of human life. Give them the fullness of life and joy in heaven. This evening we pray for Bethan, a young woman committing her life to the Lord uh, in the liturgy at Arundel with Bishop Richard, being represented by Father Eddie, who's gone to bring her our prayers. Nadia asks that as we reach the final stage of the restoration, uh, we give thanks to God for all that he has done. Pray that the celebration on Sunday will revive and help us to appreciate all that the church holds dear. Join us in giving thanks for all those whose help has made it possible. Jasmine asks that we might pray for Sebastian, who's had an accident while vacationing in Indonesia and been hospitalized. We pray for his recovery and his safe return home. Asked to pray for Raymond in the secure dementia unit, to pray for his swift discharge into the care of home or another place. Claire asks that we might pray for Zara, a dear friend coping with a lot of pain following surgery a year ago. For God's blessing medical team helping her. She is on the road to recover. Pray for Patricia, seriously ill, and for her family who are with her. We pray for uh, Terry White, Wendy Salguero, Sylvia Murphy, and Francis Kearns may rest in peace. We pray too for Father Donald Wilkins, priest of this diocese whose anniversary is today. We pray for all those who have no one uh, to remember them by name. May they all rest in peace. And we pray for our diocese, praying particularly uh, for that vision which Bishop Richard invites us to share. Lord, the word who is life, May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us for you are Lord forever and ever.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, the cross reveals the mystery of your love, a stumbling block indeed for unbelief, but the sign of your power and wisdom to us who believe. Teach us so to contemplate your son's glorious passion that we may always believe and glory in his cross, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your ministry, wherever you are. I know some scattered around the world. The fact that we come together in prayer, the fact that we're able to support our brothers and sisters from around the world, uh, it's a great sign uh, of hope. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us.